In three days, I will set out for Gaul myself and confront our enemies. They will learn the error of their ways. This will be a defining moment in Rome's new history, a revolution in the way Rome conducts its campaigns. I will quash my deluded enemy, not with the sword, but with art. My art, I intend to sing to them. First, I'll stand on the battlefield and let their gaze fall upon me. And then, I will simply weep. And on seeing how deeply they hurt me, they will weep. And in the morning, I will stand before them again. And I will sing. And my voice will reach inside them, take hold of their hearts. And actually, I should get home and work on the song. At once. At once. Nero now assembled the most bizarre army in history. Hundreds of prostitutes would travel to perform to the enemy alongside the emperor. Their hair cut short like Amazons. You're taking a big risk asking me here. Don't threaten me, boy. There are bigger things at stake than my life. Nero has lost his mind. There's no successor. He has no heir. Anything is better than this. I have served the divine bloodline all my life, and I'm not alone. But if I remain loyal and do nothing, this rebellion will tear the Empire apart. So we have no choice. We must sever the bloodline that has ruled us for generations and rebuild the way we govern what is supposed to be the civilized world. Now the Senate wishes to vote to declare Nero an official enemy of the state. But they're frightened of you. So tell me, does the son of a bankrupt Sicilian merchant wish to be an enemy of the next emperor or a friend? There was a time when nobody would have dared ask me a question like that. There was a time when it wasn't worth the risk. Times change. 